Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a program. I wrote this program in TI Basic. Uh, it works on any TI Basic uh, compatible calculator on the TI-84 or TI-83 line. The specific calculator is the TI-84 plus CE. Um, and that's mostly just to show the higher resolution version of it. So, it's going to be available to be downloaded. I'll have the link in the description. It's pretty simple. You use TI Connect CE. Uh, even though you don't have a CE, it'll still work, trust me. Uh, it's just drag and drop. It's very simple. So, it's meant for AP Chemistry or Honors Chemistry. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I made it for the class, and I am in... It's Tom's lab, of course it is. It's the first version, uh, f first uh, release, I should say. Uh, so it has K-constant stuff, the PV equals NRT, or the ideal gas equation, a uh, free energy solver, a pH solver, uh, electron configuration solver, uh, and about, and quit. <clears throat> so let's look at K-constant stuff. Uh, it has a K-equation solver and a K-quadratic uh, with reactants. So I'll explain this one. So basically, uh, sometimes if you're doing an equilibrium reaction or an ice table or a rice table, um, you'll have an X uh, uh, for your you know, equilibrium, and some, and you'll think, oh, I want to do the quadratic formula. Now, on the AP test, you typically just ignore it because the X will make it basically no big difference, but if you are doing a free response or something like that, you want to do the math. And so basically what this program does is it does the foiling for you, and then it does the quadratic formula for you, which does save you some time, and that is obviously very necessary on the AP test. Um, I tried to streamline the notation as easily as possible we you have the change of x so that's actually where you'd put x and then the um, I don't know if you know this but brackets means concentration uh, so you have the concentration of your reactant 1 uh, plus um, your delta x1 uh, notice that these are pluses so uh, typically it is a negative so you'll have to put a negative number in there so let's say I know um, this one will work if we do a negative 1, um, 0.33, negative 1, and it's very simple, um, so you've got A, B, C, D, E, uh, now that obviously probably won't help you that much, but you've got concentration of reactant 1, concentration of reactant 2, you know, X1, X2, uh, and you just hit enter and it goes to the next one. K, what is your actual K? It can be KA, KA, uh, KB, that, that type of thing. Uh, let's just say it's 0 0.98. Uh, product X, that means, uh, you know, your output of products. So how many products do you have? Uh, one. And then it'll have your plus and minus of the quadratic formula. Alright, that's pretty simple. Now let's look at the K equation solver. This is much more simple and easier to understand. It's literally the K equation, uh, just simplified. So we'll just throw some numbers in here, all nines, because, and there you go. It's all your K. Pretty simple. So for PV equals NRT, it's the ideal gas equation. It gives you your R's, and this is also pretty simple. Now, to solve, you actually just put in the, the variable X, uh, and then it will solve it, and whatever I put in is 63. Okay, next one, free energy. Uh, it's your it's your equation, so you have enthalpy, enthalpy, sorry, uh, or delta uh, H, and then entropy, uh, delta S. So, yeah, and I left the symbols in there because on the test I always get confused which symbol goes with which, and it's quite important. Uh, pH solver, it's very simple. It's not going to save you that much time, but if you want to just be sure about some equations or whatever, um, it'll also tell you this acidic basic. Um, electron configuration, you put in the atomic number, so let's look at... Uh, 
magnesium. So it tells you, the, the reason it's so long is because it tells you the entire list, first of all. So if you want to do expanded, because this gives you the simplified due to the maximum amount of characters on space. Unfortunately, on the TI-84 Pluses, uh, not all menus can be seen fully, and that is the reason why you have this. Um, so basically, this would allow you to do it all. Then the second line here is the maximum amount of electrons per part. So for the X orbital, you have maximum of 2. For P, you have maximum of 6. For D, you have a maximum of 10. And F, you have a maximum of 14. And then this is the uh, simplified. K and about. Pretty simple. Programmed by Piper Liam and helped from Tom's lab. He, of course, helped me to program it by mostly giving me suggestions and stuff. And I guess encouragement when I was just getting annoyed at how math wasn't working. Uh, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.